Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to teach you the three things that saved us money on remodeling our kitchen. If you guys have a guess of how much this kitchen costs, leave it down in the comments below. I'll give you a full total plus what we saved over our original bid in the end. Let's get started. So first, we're gonna get organized. This means set decision points for when you're going to call the next contractor or if you're going to do it yourself to get like all the materials together and make sure you have everything. The last thing you want to do is be ready to do some portion of the project and then not have the materials or have them back ordered or you're waiting on something before you can move on. Make sure you got your ducks lined up and then you can move on to that next part of the project right when you're ready. There's no downtime in between. So the example of a good decision point would be when your drywall is off and you have your electrician and plumber in here or you're almost finished with your electrical and your plumbing, you make sure to call in the next step, which would be drywall. So you few days before that, make sure you get the ball rolling on getting all the drywall stuff here. Make sure you have all your screws, all that stuff, your mud, your tape, everything's here ready to go. That way, when you want to get started, you can start jamming away at that drywall. The next part is setting yourself some deadlines. Deadlines are important just because you have a month to do it doesn't mean you can wait until the last week to do things. I'm the same way, it's human nature. To complete your project on time, you should set yourself some deadlines. So before you get started in demo even, set down some barriers that protect, like we have sensitive flooring. Before we started demo, we put down paper and something to protect the flooring. Uh, painters use those drop cloths. Those are great, but something more hardy, like a thick paper, um, that's what protected our floors during the demo. Um, remember during the demo, you're taking out big pieces of what was it? Granite here. Yeah. Granite countertops were flying all over the place during the demo. So you're going to want to protect those floors if you want to keep them. Uh, the other things you need to get like temporary lighting, because if you're doing electrical, the electrical should be shut off. It, it wasn't for part of ours. I didn't get a video of that, but it was fun. <laughs> In addition to those protective barriers that you put down over the floor, you're going to want to make sure that you have all of your tools. Uh, say you're, you're doing tile. You're going to want to make sure that you have all of your tile tools and everything's in stock the thin set that you need for your tile because there's a bunch of different types of thin set for a bunch of different types of tile so make sure that your local big box store has all of those things for you another thing to account for if you're going to be adding any electrical or moving any appliances around there's a lot of stuff that comes along with that we ended up moving our fridge from over here to over here. So we had to move the plumbing from here to over here for the water in the fridge, for the ice machine, all that stuff. Uh, the electrical outlet had to move over just a few studs, but it makes the world of a difference um, when you're moving appliances around in your kitchen. Uh, the floating shelves, we put under cabinet lights that are behind me. So these floating shelves all have lights in them over here and on this other side. So for that, we had to run wire up through the wall and out the holes in the back for these floating shelves. Uh, anytime you do that, you're going to want to do that before the drywall goes back on because then you, know, you can't, you don't have access. So 
Uh, just another thing to think about before you get started, the order of operations, I guess, for lack of a better term, to get yourself, uh, I guess, a good marching order for what should happen in your rebuild or remodel. You're not rebuilding a car. That wraps up the organization portion, that beginning portion before you even get started. Those are the things that you're gonna to need to consider. Now, let's move on. Don't be afraid to learn a new skill. I had never poured concrete countertops before. I had never done tile before. But if you look around, it looks all right, I guess. <laughs> There's things that I could point out to you that after you see them, then, then you see them. But um, for the most part, I'm extremely happy with how our kitchen came out. So don't be afraid to learn a new skill. This is gonna save you a ton of money. Again, in the end, I'm gonna show you the figures that uh, we saved by doing our own work. So a lot of times it's cheaper to buy the tools than to pay somebody to do the job. That was the case for the countertops and the tile. So countertops are probably one of the most expensive portions other than the cabinets in your build. So doing the countertops yourself is extremely cumbersome and takes a lot of labor, but it pays off, it pays off in the long run. Get a couple buddies together to mix some buckets. You guys know who you are, the guys that helped me out. Um, and thank you to those guys. That's freaking awesome having them here. We had a system set up. They mix the buckets. I poured and I finished because that's kind of the big responsibility behind it, I guess. Um, but big thanks to them. But get a team together and just hammer it out. It takes a good amount of research. You're going to spend your time on YouTube researching how to do it, but you can do it. The tile. We didn't buy the nicest tile saw. I think it's a Harbor Freight tile saw, but do your research. There's specific thin sets you're supposed to use for specific tiles. Uh, the trowel notches for specific size tiles, and you can dive real deep into that. Um, and you should if you're going to do it yourself. And it's worth it to save a good amount of money. So I do have to note that if you do buy tools, Later on down the road, say you do a bathroom remodel, like in the back room right now, you can use these same tools for those. So their value just then increases, right? So you don't have to call another tile guy to get a bid for that. You know it's gonna be <laughs> expensive. So save yourself the hassle and just do it yourself. Specifically on the countertops, take your time, and set up your forms. Um, you're gonna see all those lines from your forms, and if they're bowed at all, if they don't match up, some of it you can sand out, and some of it you can't. So there is one portion that I see over and over that I wish I would have got a little straighter, but overall, I'm extremely happy with the outcome. Okay, so for the third and final portion, before we get to how much we saved, it might sound funny, but set yourself up a cooking area. The last thing you want is to spend a bunch of money on eating out or a bunch of takeout food or delivery. Um, we had a cooktop, a smoker, a grill, and it's easy to get up in the morning, cook yourself an egg, and get to work. So it's more nutritious and you're not going to be spending a bunch of money. So finally, for the numbers, um, the countertops, our original quote for the countertops was nine grand for quartz countertops, right? Quartz? Yeah. Yeah. She said, yeah. Okay. So nine grand for those quartz countertops. And we did this ourselves. Uh, we spent more to get the white uh, 
concrete and extra packs to make it extra white for the wifey. Um, but grand total of $3,500. So that's, that's pretty dang good. Savings of 5,500 just on the countertops. If I did that math right. Yeah, 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 $5,500, yeah. Math's hard for me. Down to the tile. Uh, for the backsplash, the backsplash wraps all the way around. It goes to the ceiling and then the floor. We did porcelain on the floor and the walls. Um, this is half inch thick. This is that netted back stuff. I don't even know what you call it. Um, but the estimate was $14,000 for all of the tile. We did it for $3,300. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into that. I respect the tile guys because of how labor intensive and tedious it was. The battery died over here. So you guys are it, the only ones left. Um, for the cabinets, all new custom cabinets were $25,000. Uh, we got a bid to repaint the cabinets. So take the doors off, the handles off, all that stuff, repaint them, and then put new handles and install them back in. That was $5,500, just that alone. We did these contractor grade cabinets. I didn't install them. The contractor did for $9,000. So much less. The total savings for the countertops, 5,500. The total savings for the tile, $10,700. Uh, I mean, that's huge. Uh, the plumber cost was only 400 to help move some stuff around. Peace of mind, really. Could I have done it? Yes, a little bit of peace of mind. Um, and I was doing other stuff at the same time. So um, the electrical, 500. Again, I don't want the house to burn down in the middle of the night. Um, I got a family in here, so a <laughs> little bit of peace of mind. Somebody else do the electrical. Could I have done it? Yes, I could have done it. But something to be said. For the whole kitchen, it costs less than the cab original cabinet quote. So $22,000, $22,700 for the whole kitchen. Um, it's possible. You can do it too. Uh, just know that it's going to take a, quite a bit of work. You're going to have to do some research, put in some hours. Thank you guys for watching. If there's anything you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments. Uh, subscribe to see any future videos. My future videos include a retaining wall video. I've got um, some more videos on the tractor and some other tractor associated videos. Um, some fabrication, some metal fabrication stuff. I've got kind of a fun one, a treehouse restoration. There's an old treehouse out there. I'd love to um, get back so my kids can use it. Right now it was used as a raccoon latrine, so I don't want them crawling around in there. I have a military trailer that I, I rebuilt. Um, so I'd like to go over that build. Um, there's an office that I'm gonna turn into kind of like a man cave office in the basement, which is an absolute mess right now. So that's gonna be a big undertaking. I gotta do the siding on the front of the house. Um, I'm gonna probably do concrete siding, that not concrete, cement, cement board siding. That's what it is. <laughs> Um, the deck needs to be rebuilt. Um, the dream garage build, that's a big one coming up. I'm going to do epoxy floors, the garage cabinets. It's got laundry in there. So it'll be a little different than a lot of the videos that I've seen on YouTube before that don't include the laundry area in there. Um, a lot of these dream garage builds, they have laundry in a, another place, but we're going to keep the laundry in the garage. So if you'd like to see any of that, hit that subscribe button, the little bell notification button to get a notification on all my upcoming videos. And thanks for watching.